Mohawk Racetrack serves up a million dollar purse and attracts 10 of the sport's top three-year-old trotting colts and geldings for the 31st edition of the Canadian Trotting Classic Final, and they're off. And the first one away from down the center as they move into the opening turn, it's the Magic Man and Berto Primo to take charge. Majestic Sun on the outside, Chocolatier is away third, Was It a Dream is fourth, the outside fifth is Campbell with Glide Master. In at the rail sixth, Bacardi Lindy, seventh on the outside, RC Royalty backed up towards the rail, and eighth is Blue Mac Lad, then it's back to Global Glide, and a breaker, instant photo has jumped it off. Instant photo, a long shot, has broke at the quarter pole in 28 seconds. And it is the Ontario sensation Majestic Sun and Trevor Ritchie out there winging on a two-length lead. Back in second is long shot Bertil Primo. Gapping out by four lengths is Chocolatier for Ackerman from in third. Sitting at the rail fourth is Was It a Dream. Campbell is right there fifth with Glidemaster. And he'll angle Glidemaster to the outside and attempt to fish out Chocolatier in front of him as he sits in third on the way to the half. Majestic Sun by two lengths. Back in second, Bertil Primo Chocolatier is angled out from third through a 56 and one half, 28 and one second quarter. The advantage goes to Majestic Sun as he's stealing away with very sensible fractions. Richie up front by two. Majestic Sun still that leader. Off stride in the backfield as the field goes around that far turn. Bacardi Lindy. Majestic Sun is the story though. He still leads by two lengths and he looks great. Back in second now, Bertil Primo at the rail in third is Chocolatier and he's just getting in the road of Glidemaster. Campbell sensing that. He's rolling wide right now with Glidemaster, but Trevor Ritchie could be gone. He opens up right now with Majestic Sun off three quarters of 123 and four. They're not going to touch Majestic Sun. He's still there by five. Glidemaster simply has too much to do. Back in third now, Berto Primo. It is a confident steer from Trevor Ritchie, and Majestic Sun will take it home. Can he beat the Grand Circuit boys or what? He whooped them. Majestic Sun won by eight. Second was Glidemaster. Berto Primo third, Was It a Dream was fourth, fifth outside was Blue Mac Lad, and the mile time 152 and two, a track and stakes record goes to Majestic Sun. Track and stakes record in the Canadian Live, Trotting we've got Classic. Trevor Ritchie, uh, the winning driver. Trevor, uh, you won this event back in 2000 with Yankee Paco. How does this compare? Well, it's, it's, it's the same feeling. It's a great okay. feeling. It's, uh, you know, it's a great race to win. And uh, the great people I'm dealing with, just like when I was driving uh, Paco, so uh, it's, it's really a, a treat. This race looked like it was over 10 strides out of the gate. What were you feeling? Well, I, I, I knew it was over when I crossed the finish line, but uh, I, was, I was feeling pretty happy. You got, you got a nice, you know, nice fractions, and uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm very confident with this horse. This horse can go a long way, and uh, he proved it again tonight. Real gutsy effort last week in the elimination. Uh, were you quietly confident that, uh, you know, with a different trip scenario, he could win? I was. Uh, he, you know, he, he hadn't raced in a couple of weeks last week. And, uh, you know, I give all the credit to Mark and Sean and, and all the crew. They, they did a hell of a job with him. And, uh, you know, he was just ready to go tonight. And, boy, it's been a couple, uh, quite a couple of weeks for you. Uh, the Maple Leaf Trot and winning tonight in similar fashion. Uh, must be hard to put it into words. Yeah, it is. It's just... Uh, uh, if, if I could holler like Jody, I likely would. <laughs> Congratulations, Trevor. Well done. Thank you, Greg. Trevor Ritchie and a very dominant win tonight. Majestic Sun absolutely romping in this year's edition of the Canadian Trotting Classic. The 31st edition of the Canadian Trotting Classic final. Doing it this evening in a stakes and track record clocking of 152, two fifths, just a fifth of a second from equaling the all time Canadian record. And the victory tonight pushes the trotting son of Angus Hall over the $1 million mark in career earnings. Majestic son of three year old Ridgeling son of Angus Hall from the King Kong Mare, Celtic Contessa, was bred by Mike Scherzer of Perry Sound. And Peter Dennis of Brantford is owned by members of the Majestic Sun stable of Lansdowne, Ontario, trained by Mark Stacy, and driven to victory this evening by Trevor Ritchie. Win number 10 and 14 starts this season for nine Majestic Sun as he registers his 15th lifetime win. Mr. Jamie Martin, the vice president of Standard Racing, making the trophy presentation to the winning connections. Thousand. $34 even, payout price in the pick three, $396.15. And Mark, uh, safe to say this is the biggest career win for you? Oh, most definitely. It's not every day you get to go for a million dollars. And, and uh, we won a big one last year with Orlando Hanover, but this, this beats them all.
Just talk about what you saw from him last week in the elimination and uh, any discussions you and Trevor had after that as to what uh, kind of a game plan, if any, you might uh, take into tonight. Well, there was no real game plan. Like, Trevor finished well in hand last week. He, he just made sure that the horse got to the final. He was off a week before, so that, that kind of served as a tightener. Um, as far as the driving and the trip, that was left up to Trevor. He knows the horse. He's drove him all summer. And uh, it was my job to condition him, and then fortunately everything turned out great. Following such a brilliant two-year-old campaign, uh, when you were training back and getting him ready for this season, uh, was he training down the way that you thought he would, and, and were you envisioning these types of things for him this year? Well, like, he was very impressive last year. He, he, you know, he had a few bumps in the road, but he, he showed big-time speed. Um, so, yeah, when it came February and time to make some of these stake payments, uh, we thought, you know, the Trotting Classic was their biggest, and we thought we had uh, a real chance. So. And boy, you must have been feeling really good about things uh, when you watched that race unfold. I, I was really surprised that he got to the front before the first turn, and uh, when he did, like, this horse is very hard to beat when he gets there because he's got a big kick always anyways, but uh, uh, Trevor drove him very heads up, too. And goes over the million dollar mark tonight as well in career earnings. Uh, quite a way to do it. It's amazing. <laughs> Just talk about what's next for him. Uh, have you got anything mapped out uh, from here on in this year? Oh, he's still got lots left. Uh, uh, this Friday is elimination for another gold series. Hopefully he gets to the final again. And then I think the super finals fall right behind. And then we have the Breeders' Crown. Uh, if everything goes well, we have the Matron later. And uh, who knows, a Yonkers Trot's a possibility too. We want to wish you continued good luck with him. It's been quite a ride, and uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Mark Stacy. he said it, his biggest career win to date. Majestic Sun goes over the million-dollar mark in career earnings as he scores decisively in this year's Canadian Trotting Classic.